Hey guys, so guys, so much for Jay today, and today's video is episode 7 of The Road to Play, and yeah, let's get showing the video, let's go. There isn't much to talk about in today's video, but I thought I'd decide to do another Road to Play video because it has kind of teased of play and that over the past few weeks, but not as much, but a few stuff as well, and yeah. I think straight after the last Road to Play video, Ed kind of teased that he was gonna... He's made an album, but he doesn't know when he's gonna release it yet. It, it, he said in like I think about two, in around two Indian interviews when he was still in India last month and yeah let's play them to play them two videos right now. I've got an, a new album that I've made I don't know when I'm going to put it out or how I'm going to put it out um, but it's finished and uh, we'll see. My next album is done. I'm not really sure when it's coming out. It's it's. If it were up to me, I'd be releasing music every sort of two, three months. And also, NHQ made a TikTok account as well. So yeah, I think this is quite big because you know songs nowadays, they get they become like popular on TikTok, guys. And then it isn't a coincidence that NHQ made a TikTok. You know, NHQ made an Instagram you know, headquarters of a, a a musician and that. Um, you know, Ed H. Group made an Instagram back in 2021 when Ed was promoting bad habits, you know. So it isn't a coincidence and Ed H. Group literally up uploads every day on TikTok now, guys. Yeah, maybe multiple times a day, guys. Yeah, which is insane to think about, you know, trying to get the followers, you know. I'd say before when Ed officially starts teasing potentially the first single off play maybe soon still nothing guys but of course Ed's Ed on a little break from the mathematics tour you know at the moment during this month of April guys I, I think yeah um so maybe nothing till summertime maybe I'm not sure guys I'm not too sure I'm not too sure but yeah NHQ making a TikTok you know it seems like they made the first TikTok on the 21st of March so, so yeah guys, you know, which is just insane to think about and also that was just after the last Road to Play video and that, uh, yeah, NHQ making a TikTok, uploading every day and trying to use all the viral memes as well, which is just insane to think about. Well, I think, I think so, I don't know, but uploading almost every day, it's, well, they are uploading every day, guys, almost every day, upload multiple times on the TikTok as well, which is just insane to think about, and that. And then also, Ed's playing Temple Run as that, guys. Um, I'll play, 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 guys, that little clip of Ed playing Temple Run. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Yes, Ed playing Temple Run. You know, just an OG game, you know, on, on an iPad, you know. I used to play Temple Run a lot back in the day. Back in the day, guys, you know, Temple Run was so funny, you know. <laughs> um, I think I put in his caption, felt cute, might delete later, or downloaded Temple Run, might delete later. And that, uh, and yeah, you know, with with NHQ making a TikTok, maybe Ed teasing play with Ed playing a game, Temple Run, and it'll be crazy if Ed maybe keeps on playing different games. Like, I don't know, a console game or something, or maybe another handheld game, which would be insane to think about. Playing, playing a game, you don't know, play, press play, well, press and play, you know, on a song, but playing a game, which, you know, play, 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 play. I don't know how many times I've said play. You guys can count how many times I, I say play this video. <laughs> Which is, I just love that so much. And with Ed's post from last week, well, last Monday, I believe it was, on the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Imagine Ed just fooling with us. Um, Ed put in his caption, trying to figure out what pressing play means. Maybe. And with that first photo, guys, imagine Ed was working on a song for play, you know, in that picture. And just on the guitar, like figuring out a song with the chords of the song, maybe potentially. And it, I don't know, it kind of looks like it is from the subtract sessions as well. Maybe it would be insane to think about that in the same place with Ed making subtracts with Aaron Desner. Ed maybe wrote a few songs for play because we know that beautiful game looked like it was written where Ed recorded subtracts in Kent. 
Um, it would be insane to think about if Ed wrote a few songs, I don't know, with Max Martin, potentially, I don't know. I don't think Max Martin was there, I think it was just Ed and... I don't know, let me rewatch the video again. Yeah, Max Martin was the when Ed recorded Beautiful Game look like where Ed recorded subtracts as well. Well, this iteration of subtracts with Aaron Desner. But, but yeah, guys, imagine Ed wrote a few songs maybe with Max Martin and Kent, you know. That would be insane to think about. Yeah, if Ed wrote a few songs for play there as well. Who knows, guys, who knows? And, you know, I know there hasn't been much to talk about in the past few weeks and I haven't uploaded a proper, proper video in a week as well. But, well, you know, I cannot wait for everything to come eventually when it comes. Of course, Ed can release play whenever he wants and that. And, of course, we had we, we got sport last year with... We got two albums last year, Subtracts and Awesome, awesome Variations, you know, and also that so many artists are releasing music this year in 2024. I think you guys might know who's releasing, but, well, yeah, if Play does eventually come out, I do think maybe late 2024, maybe potentially first single in summertime, like with, like, I think, like, Ed with Equals, like, of course, Ed released an album in the summer, well, sunk single in the summertime, and then album near the end of the year, maybe potentially, who knows, guys, who knows, but, it, or it could, um, or maybe Ed could promote it near at the time of the 10th the anniversary of Multiply because you know Ed, I do think Ed's got a lot of plans for the 10 years of Multiply like maybe a show maybe maybe a live album of Multiply that would be insane to think about maybe a couple of never heard before songs on Multiply as well on the 10th the anniversary edition of Multiply if that's coming I don't know we just don't know what Ed's going to be doing this year, but I know that they've got Ed's got plans of maybe doing something for the 10th anniversary of Multiply, and then maybe play, I'm not sure guys, I'm not too sure. We, we will find out, we will have to wait and see what happens with everything to come. And yeah guys, and if you guys enjoyed this video of episode 7 of the Rose Play, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace!